Are you guys prepared for the impending zombie apocalypse? Well, do you even have your local copy of Wikipedia downloaded? So, uh, today's video, kind of a quick and formal one. I'm going to be talking to you about how to download and host your own local copy of Wikipedia. That's right, you can download the whole thing. It's actually not as big as you might expect. Uh, probably it is about 12 gigs. Um, and we're going to be using it with a program called Qix. It's pretty much just an offline reader that's going to facilitate that. And it can open the, uh, the file format, which we'll get into later. Um, but basically, yeah, if this sounds awesome to you, let's just uh, do a quick walkthrough and I'll... Talk, talk to you about some like the cool stuff you can do with it. Um, anyways, to start off, uh, go to kiwix.org, um, wiki slash main page. I'll put the link in the description. And you're going to want to go over here to get Kiwix. Might take a little while on the... Um, my browser might be a bit slow. I'm actually downloading a lot of these files right now, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. But basically, uh, get Kiwix. Uh, you're going to get a link to... Uh, in the case of Windows, there's a self-extracting installer. I just went ahead and did that. Or you can get a portable version. Uh, Mac, you got the DMG file. Um, basically, uh, pick your flavor, download it. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. I'm sure you're perfectly capable of uh, you know, either clicking next on the installer or doing whatever you need to do to get that program on your computer. Anyways, uh, once you download it and run it, you're going to get something, well, it's not going to look like this. This is uh, actually have an article pulled up already, but it's going to be basically a Welcome to Kiwix page. Um, let's see if I can go home. Yeah, it's not really it either. Anyways, um, you'll see a bunch of info on Kiwix, and there won't be any uh, really information. Yeah, you know what's that? There won't be any information on um, you know what it's actually going to do. Uh, pretty much, it's totally useless unless you download the uh, appropriate files, uh, and they are going to be .zim files. It's an open file format, uh, pretty much designed just to uh, locally host uh, wiki content. Um, so. Anyways, to get those, uh, I think if you don't have anything installed, there's going to be a link down here somewhere. Um, if not, regardless, I'm going to put a link to it in the description as well. Uh, we can go to download.qix.org uh, slash zim. And it's going to bring you to this page right here, uh, where you can basically get all the zim files you want. Um, real quick, just for you, if you're unfamiliar with any of these, uh, Gutenberg is uh, kind of a... a, a an effort by Wikipedia to do a bunch of just free online books. Definitely good. I'm downloading a bunch of those right now. Actually, you can click into it. Uh, and, and there are a bunch of uh, languages available. So most of the languages that uh, Wikipedia is available in is going to be available in. Uh, you'll see I for the Gutenberg, I downloaded Gutenberg English All. And it's the 2014 dump. That's 40 gigs, but um, it's just text. <laughs> that is... Uh, that is a lot of books. I'm gonna have just local access to them anytime I want. Um, if I want to slap one on my, you know, I got a tablet, do a little reading on the go. It's just gonna be a convenient way for me to do it. Anyways, let's look through the let's look through the rest. TED Talks. Um, right now, I'm just downloading the science and technology ones. Um, it might be really interesting to look at all the other ones, and business ones. Uh, I could take a look at. But um, yeah, uh, they, these are decent size. They are media. But yeah, download TED Talks. Why not? Wikibooks, uh, pretty self-explanatory. I downloaded, downloaded a bunch of the uh, English ones from Wikibooks. Wikipedia, now this is kind of what this tour tutorial is about. These are basically XML dumps of Wikipedia from different years. Uh, let's see, these seem to mostly be from 2013 or 2014. If you want older ones in this .09 folder, there's uh, 2012 dumps and uh, let's see, 2011. There's just some older dumps. But yeah, you're going to want to go to Wikipedia, uh, since you're understanding me, you're probably going to want to search for the English Wikipedia, so we can say Wikipedia, under slash en, under slash all, and let's see which one do we want. So we got these three ones right here, um, you can certainly download pics, uh, but that's uh, a 40 gig file, um, I prefer to just go with uh, the text one, so I'd want to download this one right here, Wikipedia English and all, no pictures. Uh, the, the 2014 dump. It's um, the raw XML dump. I think it came out to be right about let's see, 8.4 gigs in 2014, and with the ZIM file format overhead, it's about 12 gigs. Uh, not too ridiculous. Um, I guess a word of caution: a lot of ISPs have data caps. Just if you're getting a little bit download crazy, just kind of be careful with that. Um, I think just recently in my neighborhood, it got changed. We used to have we used to have a, a 250 gig per month data cap, which 
I uh, would usually push up against and sometimes get in trouble for. But anyways, um, you can see the rest. Uh, wiki quote. That's gonna be good sometimes. I might consider downloading that. Wiki source. Pretty cool. Wiki voyage. Uh, wiki voyage. I hadn't really heard of till recently. It's basically uh, just kind of an open way for people to share uh, stuff about their travel information. You know, I. I go to this city, I, I, I go to Dublin, what's good in Dublin, and um, it's kind of a dump of all that information, so. You can pick up that, let's see, they're, they're I mean, they're relatively small, um, let's see, the, the 2014 dump um, in English is uh, 762 megs, so not bad at all, um, hey, not too, it wouldn't take too long to download, might be, might be worth a download. And Wiktionary, um, if you don't know what it is, you can probably guess what it is, just a wiki dictionary. Um, so basically, that's all that. I am downloading a bunch of files right now. Um, I'm going to do a second part of the video, and I'll just tack it on to the end of this. Once these are downloaded, just saying some of the cool things you, you can do. Uh, QX is pretty simple, but it's it's complex enough to be interesting. So uh, catch you on the other side of this video. All right, so we're back for part two of the how to download a Wikipedia tutorial uh, using QX. Uh, so let me go back to here, my, my browse library. Pretty much what I've done, I've downloaded these zip files, uh, they're in my downloads folder. Um, they're not going to be here by available at the uh, library page from QX. You can just go to open, uh, an open file, file, open file, and just navigate to wherever you downloaded them, and it'll pop them in here. Um, so once you have them in here, you can simply you know go to it, load. Um, it'll ask you to index it if you've never used it before, just let it do that. It's actually usually pretty quick. And once you get to this point, you can just use Wikipedia like you would always use Wikipedia. Um, say so I want to look up Python, um, not, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess there are a lot of types of Python, but yeah, um, Python, boom, total Wikipedia, pretty cool, um, again, you, you can get the one, you can get the, uh, zim file that has all the, the pictures in it, it's 40 gigs as opposed to this one was just 12, so I decided to go with it, but yeah, I might actually decide to download the pictures one, that's pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, there's not much else to it. Um, I guess I might as well mention there, there's a tool you can do. A random article. A neo neo grammarian. That's pretty interesting. Um, there's, a lot, there's a few little things you can play around with. Um, one in particular is server. So, uh, I was actually running this. But, yeah, it's pretty simple. Just, you know, pick a port. When not being used, you know, 8028 looks pretty good. And just start it up. And if anyone on your local network decides to go to that address right there, um, you know, that IP address, your IP, presumably local, plus uh, your open port, they'll be able to use it, uh, use your machine as a Wikipedia server, and it'll look pretty much exact exactly like this. So, pretty sweet. And, um,. Here, let me go back to the library. You can, any of the zim files you download, just do the exact same process and um, you can open them up. Uh, I would definitely, I think it's pretty cool to download uh, Project Gutenberg. It's a lot of books. Um, it was 40 gigs of, um, as far as I can tell, just text. So it's a lot to read through. Um, say I want to read you know, Moby Dick. Yeah. Find it right there and boom, you get the whole Moby Dick. Uh, very cool. Um, Besides that, there's you know you got the server, you got a few small tools. There's not really too much to this. Um, so I guess if you, um, oh one last thing I want to mention, um, just a side note, you can do this a different way. Uh, if you go to Wikipedia, you can actually just download the XML dumps directly. And I know at least on Windows, there's a program called WikiTaxi that can open those and it'll present them uh, in the Wikipedia format. So pretty cool. It's just an alternate way to do it. Um, I think this is kind of a nicer format, Kiwix, but it was just that's just my opinion whatever do whatever you want um, I guess that is really all if you have any questions about you know how to set this up or anything about it um yeah just post a comment down below and it's pretty cool uh, could come in handy if you know your internet goes out and you got a project due tomorrow other than that it's just cool it's just fun to do um, yeah not much else 10p devs signing off